Hello everyone, and welcome to Office Mystic. In this video, we will discuss how to correct patent apostrophes, which is also flipping an apostrophe or replacing an open apostrophe with a closed apostrophe. You will normally come across this issue if you're working at a law firm that has a patent litigation practice. The apostrophe preceding a patent number has to be the close apostrophe, which is the accepted format. But when you're typing along, it defaults to the open apostrophe because that's the first instance you are typing that apostrophe. So to get through the process quickly, you can use a specialized find and replace by holding down the control H key, entering open paren, caret 0145, which is the ASCII code for the open apostrophe, close paren, open paren, open bracket, 0 dash 9, close bracket, close paren. The 0 dash 9, it's going to look for a number between those two numbers next to an open apostrophe. And you're going to replace it with caret 0146, which is the ASCII code for the close apostrophe, backslash 2 which refers to the second parenthetical in the find what field. Now this is a wildcard search, so you're going to insert a check next to use wildcards. Now there's one more step, but I want you to see what happens when we click on replace all. None of the apostrophes were changed. That's because we need to disable the straight quotes with smart quotes feature by clicking on file, options, proofing, autocorrect options, auto format as you type, and then remove the check next to straight quotes with smart quotes. Click OK, then OK again, and now you're going to click on replace all. Now you can see all the apostrophes were replaced with the close apostrophes. Now, I'm not sure why we need to uncheck straight quotes with smart quotes. When you look at that option, replace as you type straight quotes with smart quotes. Smart quotes are the curly quotes. If this is unchecked and you type a quotation mark or an apostrophe, it will be straight because it's no longer forcing it to a curly quote or a smart quote. Now logic would dictate that when we do this find and replace, it will change the apostrophe into a straight quote by the wording used in that feature. But for reasons I don't know, it's an m and &M, a Microsoft mystery to me, why that needs to be disabled in order to get the correct facing apostrophe as a curve, although it states that it will insert a straight when that's disabled. Now, if you have the answer for that, please leave a comment below and I will include it in the description of this video of why it happens, or if you have suggestions for a future video, please leave the comment below. But before you continue, just remember to change that option back to straight quotes with smart quotes. So you can continue using curly quotes when you use an apostrophe or a quote.